What is going on? Oh, I dropped y'all. <laughs> y'all, I am so... Oh, my God. Let me tell y'all, this has been a journey. Y'all have been on this journey with me for a few weeks now. <sighs> All right. I'm going to get to it. So, today, April the 11th, um, big shout out to my grandmother. Today was her 70th birthday. She's alive and breathing and kicking. Uh, so, been celebrating that all day. Um, but today was the structured interview. Now, I have to be very, very, very careful on what I... Because there are some things I can tell you. And there are some things I just really can't. Like, y'all know, I've been wanting to just scream and tell my family all, all the details. But I can't. Because I know that when I go take the polygraph, they're going to ask me that I disclosed anything in my structure interview. And I have to be able to say no and not lie. So FYI, even if you got that one best friend, that old family member that you think ain't going to never tell nobody, it's not a matter of if they tell somebody. It's the fact that you you told someone. So just remember that. But first and foremost, my structure interview was scheduled at 8 a.m., um, it was scheduled inside the building where uh, I think people go for like social security and stuff like that. You would never know that that's where boy was showing But went there, got there like seven fifty. Um, got there, kind of walked around, didn't know where I was going. Um, and then saw a room full of other people dressed and looking nice and smelling good like myself. What is that? Oh, I got it. Um, yeah. So, I need to go get a haircut, y'all. It's time for another haircut. I'm sorry. I'm very... I'm all about an image. I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah. So, I saw a room of, like... I'm going to estimate, like, 16 other people. So, I ain't going to lie. I was shocked. Because my impression that I had going into the thing was... It was just going to be me, maybe one other person. I was not expecting that many people, but I was happy. Like, that's good. I'm glad you all are out here applying for this. Let me tell you, I'm going to tell you that at the end, but I'm so happy. That I was happy to see other people. I'm like, cool. You know, the more the barrier, like, I, I want everybody to win. Uh, so, yeah, um, got there. The, the downside is, let me tell you. If you go to your structure interview and it has that amount of people, all I'm going to say is today, if you have never had your patience tested, today is the day your patience will be tested. My patience was tested to the max. When I tell you I was sleepy, I was getting hungry, I was getting hangry, I'm I'm just was like, yo, like, because when I got there, got there at 8, I did not begin my structure interview until 3 o'clock. Let me repeat that. I got there and signed in at 7.56 or something like that. I did not sit down and begin my structured interview until 3 o'clock. And guess what? I was the last person. Mm -hmm. I was the last person. When I tell y'all I was so stressed out. <laughs> My stress level was to the max. Like, that tested my patience, man. I mean, I was able to have my cell phone. Um, they allowed us to uh, have our phones and be on the phone, whether it was talking, talking, texting, internet browsing, all the way up until it was our turn for our interview. Then we had to power it off in front of them so they know that it was powered off, um, which that was cool. Um, so, yeah, that was, like, the intro. You know, I can't go anything after that, but... Yeah, your boy passed. Um, yeah, I just damn a tear just rolled out my eyes, y'all. Y'all don't understand like that. I felt that I I passed my structure interview. So just to kind of go over a review, I applied beginning of March. Let everybody, let's not forget, I applied to beginning of March. Today is April eleventh. Um. Did that first little 30-minute exam, passed that, 
Did the computer based test. Passed that. Did the equip. Completed and submitted that. Oh, by the way, I just found out. FYI, this is a fun fact. Uh, remember, if you look at my previous videos, it tells you, I told you that if you didn't put it on your equip, you're going to be in trouble. Well, so these are two up major updates. Like These are really, really important. The first one is, you will have another another opportunity to add to your equip when it's time for your polygraph because the polygrapher will have your equip and you will have that opportunity to add things and discuss things in more in depth because that will help them get their questions in order. So that's really good for those of us that really did just forget. And it's like, damn, I wasn't lying. Like I forgot. Um, you know, I wasn't thinking of it. Or I didn't even think that was relevant. So we all have those moments. I'm that person. So that made me feel good on the inside, even though I know I put everything on the equip, but just in case it's like good, I get another opportunity to get it right. The second big thing is, if you all know, the steps to the hiring process was submit application, equip, background investigation, polygraph, drug test, fitness test one, and medical exam, and structured interview, and then fitness test two. Well, as of, I don't even know, like a few days ago, <laughs> I guess I found this out today from the other guys in the um in the structure interview that there is no more fitness test too, people. I repeat, there is not a second fitness test anymore whatsoever. So basically after you take that first fitness test that consists of twenty five sit ups in one minute, twenty push ups in one minute, and maintain um a step a, a Step do the step test for five minutes without stopping. That's it. No one's else gonna ask you to do anything else. The next time you'll be doing that is that basic training. Uh which is cool. Uh I guess I was told that the reason why they stopped why they stopped the physical fitness test too, because so many people forgot about that. And so when they would get there, they didn't maintain staying in shape, which I don't understand. That I, I felt like that was kind of stupid because how could you not continue to maintain? Like, I just started going to the gym. I don't go to the gym, you guys. Um, I just started just for the hell of it, just to get into that mindset of working out. Um, so I don't understand how anybody could, could take the fitness test and then think that they're not going to do any more conditioning like no more like how could you i don't understand how you could think that so I, for some odd reason let that be the reason why the government decided to kill the fitness test too i mean i wasn't opposed to it i like running i mean i think it was cool i didn't have nothing against it but hey whatever makes this process easier quicker and faster i'm here for it uh <sighs> oh god yeah i have had a long day and plus if you know how many times I have yarned in this video comment, because I swear I don't know how many times I yarned, if you kept count. Um, so, yeah, plus, um, I don't know if they thought, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's, it's cool. You know, we aren't gonna, we're not going to complain about it. So, basically, um, yeah, I completed a lot of steps. Uh, if you all don't remember, I am going to have to take my fitness test one over one more time. Um because I, like I said, I got dizzy doing my push-ups uh, the last time I took it. Um, so I will be scheduling that. Uh, I'll probably be taking that like the end of the month. I'm not really pressing it right now just because I've gotten so much other stuff done. Uh, right now, I'm just waiting for my email and phone call pertaining to my drug test because that's going to be a random day. Um, and then my polygraph. Um, I was told that I will be getting an email soon. In regards to going to my polygraph location and everything like that. Um, right now, I'm hoping that my emails aren't being delayed due to the fact that I still have to schedule my fitness test one. I don't think it should be delayed. I don't think that would like pause all my other emails. But um, I'm going to schedule it like on Sunday. 
I'm, I'm gonna pick a date. Um, you know, I don't know what date. Uh, but what I will say is, this is what me and my other 16 counterparts at the Structure Interview have concluded that the month of May will definitely be like the month of polygraphing for a fact. Either that or like early June. I know I have a I have a buddy that I know he's taking his structure interview the beginning of May. Like that May is gonna be like that last month for a lot of things because I know they're trying to get this set. For those of you that are out there, you should damn well if not be done with your structure interview. You have to be like you either have to be getting ready to take it or be done with it. Because June, July at the latest, that we basic training is gonna start. Like we're gonna be getting ready to get flued out to you know basic training. So that's why I'm like I don't see them like the de- negating or delaying that any longer. Like I know they still gonna be doing. So I was shocked that my buddy has his structure interview in in the first week of May. I'm like, damn, that's far out. Like, um, so. That mean he's that, that just puts more pressure on him because I know they're gonna email him quick as hell to go do his polygraph. It, it gotta be, and his drug test is gonna come like probably close to the intern on duty date. So today, like I said, today's April eleventh. You know, wh- one piece of advice I can give you: anything that they email you to schedule or select, try to do it the earliest date possible. It helps you out. Um, it, it makes you aggressive, and and it, it does help you out. It moves the process a little bit quicker. Like I said. Um, any day I could receive a phone call or an email to go take my drug test. Um, I have forty eight hours from the time I that that stamped on that email to go do it, which that's cool. Um, cl- clear that. And like I said, I'm waiting for my email instructions on my polygraph. And that's it. Um, I was told today that the next time I see a border patrol agent will be when I'm on the bus. Getting off at basic training. That's the next time I was so I will see a border patrol agent like that. Put tears in my eyes, you guys. I was so excited. So, um, oh man, I'm already like 12 minutes. I know y'all don't want to watch this long video, but um, you all are amazing. I love my my subscribers. Like I said, you guys, I do this channel because I see like a lot of other people don't really give you all pure details and information. Um. I just learn as I go, so feel free to comment. I reply. It notifies me instantly, like an email when you all comment. Um, comment. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to still be posting, you know, as much as I can, every little sneak moment I can, even if it's a three-minute video, I'm going to post and give you all a little insight because sometimes we just want to know, um, and I and I understand that, and I want to help you know whatever I can allow you to know. Um so to help me do that, you got to subscribe. You got to be active and comment, you know, ask a question, give your feedback, your input, whatever information. I don't know it all. I may be saying things that are completely wrong or you disagree with. Hey, comment. Tell me what, what's what's the true version. You know, I am very humble. Um, yeah. You know, we all a team. We all going to bleed blue and green, you know, blue for law enforcement, green for Border Patrol, all under one umbrella. Um, and I hope to really see a lot of you guys, um, to my females, I saw a lot of females in the structure interview today. I was really happy to see that, um, my mother is a great woman activist, stuff like that. So, you know, I have a lot of respect for women. So I hope to see more women in Border Patrol. That's dope. Um, before I get off one other little thing, I don't know if you guys know this, um, Secretary Kirsten Nielsen resigned all of a sudden a few days ago hmm interesting so now Commissioner McAllen is acting secretary hmm and the only reason why I'm mentioning this is because working in Border Patrol we always have to be knowledgeable of our chain of command because it affects us you know my sector chief is my direct supervisor you know his boss is chief provost and her boss is the commissioner, whoever the who, and the commissioner's boss is the secretary, and the secretary boss is the president. So, like that's chain of command within the board of patrol. You always want to keep updated on that, especially when people go quitting out of nowhere. Um, just FYI, if you didn't know that. And then the other thing is, 
they are moving to change the sidearms that are issued for Border Patrol agents. I believe it's the H and K. Um, I, I don't have much firearm proficiency, but I just sent it on the uh, Customs and Border Patrol website. Um, so by the time, I believe in basic training, we're still going to get trained with H&K, but we're also going to get trained. I think they're switching this a Glock. Um, from what I read, I don't know. I might be sounding crazy, but that's what I read. So I don't know if that's good or bad. Maybe y'all know guns. Let me know if that's a good or bad. Someone said that the H and K is kind of small or something. I I don't know, but I just figured I'd throw that out there for you all to think about. Like you know, I try to give you all different updates and feedback. Uh, but like I said, please subscribe, share, tell your friends. Um, I always remember anybody eighteen years or older can apply to become a federal border patrol agent. Um, I personally suggest it's better if you wait till you're twenty one to do it. Um, this is my opinion. Um. Yeah, that's that. That's it. Uh, you can add me on Snapchat. That is the only social media I will allow you guys to directly communicate with me. If you just really want to talk one on one, I'm cool with that. Um, my Snapchat is my so m y underscore daddy's keeper d a d d y s k e e p e r. My my underscore daddy's keeper. Um, my father passed away. Um, that's when I made my Snapchat. So that's don't ask me why. Um, but feel free, you know, add me on Snap. You can call me on the Snap. That's cool. Video call me on the Snap. That's cool. I approve of that. But don't add me on Snap if you ain't subscribed to my YouTube channel. I feel like that's just mean as hell. So to all my future and fellow agents out there, I look forward to meeting you guys. And the next time you all will hear from me is if I get an email between now and then or when I get ready to go take this fitness test. Have a good one, guys.